Good afternoon everyone. In this lecture we're going to be discussing about uh, some other basic operations on Fibonacci heaps. Um, in the previous lecture we discussed about uh, uh, introduction to Fibonacci heaps data structure and uh, how to create uh, these Fibonacci heaps. In this lecture we're going to be discussing about if you have given two heaps, two Fibonacci heap structures, how uh, you can do union or how you can stitch them together or concatenate two Fibonacci heap structures. So let's say for example you have been given two heaps. Um, okay, so I haven't uh, put all the you know uh, uh, pointers connections to all these heaps. So basic idea here we are talking about the roots root lists of both heaps. So as you can see here root number um, in the root list of H1 uh, heap we have two nodes in the root list 6 and 2 with the key values 6 and 2 respectively. In the same way for H2 Fibonacci heap we have two nodes in the root list with the key values 9 and 5. So node number 2 becomes the root node of H1 and we have pointer H1 dot min indicating that that is the root of the first Fibonacci heap structure. In the same way we have a pointer H2 dot min to root number 5 indicating that that node is the root node of second Fibonacci heap. Now in this algorithm we discuss about how we, we can uh, make a union of these two heaps, right? So line number one to two basically what line number one what does it do? It makes a empty heap H So it makes a empty. There is nothing here. Okay. And h1 dot main points to null. Sorry, h dot main, which is your final heap would be after concatenating. This points to this is null. Means nothing is there. Or a null pointer basically with some associated fields uh, like key and mark node and whatnot we discussed about in, in, in the previous uh, lecture. So that's for line number one. Line number two what it does basically uh, it assigns you know h dot min to h1 dot min means this one. So we haven't taken decision yet which is uh, the uh, minimum uh, key value node. It can be from the H1 heap or it can be from H2 heap, right? Now we just concatenate root list of H1 with the root list of H2. So root list of H1 is this one, okay? That's root list. In the same way root list for H2 has root num node number 9 and 5 okay so we are not showing associated pointer I will just like to mention that only these two pointers so when you concatenate you can just simply concatenate like that and the root coming from like that and usually structure this is going there. Of course you have to modify the pointer. So now 6 will point to this one. It's a circularly linked list, okay? All right. Oh. A jungle of pointers. We just concatenated it. We haven't taken this decision yet. Now we have already assigned, you see here at line number two, h dot min in h1 dot min. Okay. 
But what happens like uh, if h1 dot min is not really the minimum? So that decision we're going to take at line number 4. If it is not nil or h2 dot min is not nil or h2 dot min key is less than h1 dot min dot key. In our example, it is actually h1 dot min is the lowest node. So what essentially is that we don't have to what we assigned here at line number two that is valid means now h1 dot min will point to root number two. Sorry, uh, h1 dot min will point to h dot min that is the uh, root of the final uh, heap tree h will point to h1 dot min because that is the lowest key value that has the lowest key value and now both of the heap structures h1 and h2 are destroyed and we are left with with this one big heap structure whose root node is pointing to 2 okay and we increment uh, h dot n we increment that count to h1 dot n and h2 dot n how many number of nodes h1 has and number of node h2 has okay and uh, notice that we did not touch any of the uh, other nodes uh, in H1 or H2. We only touched the root list. Okay. So if we want to uh, calculate or if we want to see uh, what should be the time complexity or in bigger notation, how many operations this algorithm will take. Let's discuss that in terms of uh, potential increase. Uh, remember in, in previous lectures we discussed about potential function. So we're going to use the same technique here. We're going to calculate the potential difference. Okay. So before calculating potential difference, let's see uh, how many uh, nodes in the root list of the final uh, heap H will have means Simply H will have so how many nodes it will have? The root nodes in the root list of the H1 and <coughs> root no, nodes in the uh, root list of the H2. So T of H1 plus T of H2. In the same way we can check the marked nodes okay so h1 may have marked nodes and h2 may have marked nodes so we just add it together and get the marked nodes for the uh, final heap okay and what would be our change in potential well simply the potential of the final heap minus potential of h1 and potential of h2 okay now here if we put all these values in this equation so what's going to happen we put the value of t t h that is t h1 plus t h2 that will cancel out t h1 and t h2 and in the same way when we put the value of empty h two times m t h it will cancel out uh, m, two times m of h1 and two times m of h2 and we get the potential difference zero. So what does it mean that uh, it did not impact on our complexity, okay? time complexity or number of operations. Okay? So amortized cost would be actual cost plus increased potential. Now we didn't have any change in potential okay increased potential or change in potential so that value is zero and so we arrived at o1 
complexity for, for this uh, algorithm. So I hope guys um, it was simple enough to make you understand um, union operations for Fibonacci heaps. Uh, thank you for uh, listening to the lecture and uh, thank you for subscribing the professor channel on YouTube. Those who haven't subscribed, I would recommend you to subscribe uh, the channel so that you can get notifications for the uh, latest videos as soon as I upload them. And also it encourages us that uh, you guys are liking lectures on Lee Professor channel and encourages us to, to put more uh, interesting lectures for your learning. Have a wonderful day.